So animal storage. So now we've got it's a bit of a sausage fest. We've got four guys to a girl, um, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be, they're gonna make interesting DVDs. <laughs> Hello you, welcome to Geekism, where we're all having a swim in our grizzly habitat in franchise mode here in Planet Zoo. Uh, Genji, are you a baby or have you just got put in? I, we lost the girl. Um, yeah, I've had to buy a, buy a new girl because we, we lost both the girl uh, and then the, the mom and then we sold baby. So, hope, I mean, terrible stats, but hopefully... They have another baby. Um, so we need to name you, don't we? Oh, thanks for the donation. Yes, all of our uh, animals here in Franchise Mode are named after patrons. Um, so you are going to be Long Vong. What a name. Thank you, Long Vong, for your support. You are now a Chinese pangolin. Um, and we have <clears throat> some more. Uh, oh, we've got three little baby. My word, the warthogs are going at it. So Amine is now uh, blind IRL. Awesome uh, streamer in his own right. Streams over on Twitch. And IRL. Themba, you are now the Dark Jedi. That's a very ominous name for a warthog, isn't it? And it's nighttime. It should go daytime. It's daytime. Nighttime, day team. Nighttime, day team. Aerosis. Thank you very much for the support. Uh, right then, those are uh, three. And we've got three adults. So, so what I've done here then is the old. Uh, the old female there I popped her onto contraceptive so she won't have another one now and she's elderly so before she passes away we'll we'll let her you know we'll do it now we'll let her have her final days in the wild Up you pop there we go and then when these three be three babies grow up we'll uh, we'll carry on there we've got a baby aardvark in as well um Sukutai. Tom Fage. That's, I mean, that's not even spelled anywhere near right. There we go. Tom Fage. Uh, you should have pretty good stats. No. Okay. Never mind. Again, it's all babies, isn't it? And then Grizzlies over here. So I did build this originally for the Grizzly Bear <coughs> competition. Um, until somebody on my Discord pointed out that they'd had. 70 grizzly bears gone into the wild and still hadn't received all of the clothes. So, yeah, maybe maybe we don't worry too much about the car because I just haven't got the time. It's pretty much all you can play if you want it to happen. And, uh, yeah, we've got other stuff to be doing as well. So we will get the points off you, though. Oh, hold on. Yeah, 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 Mr. Matha. Say hello. Skill zone. Hi, how's it going? Um, and today, let's have a look. I was, I want to do flamingos here. Let's have a look, see if we can afford, or if there's any available even, flamingos. So, refresh list. No, sorry, hold on. Uh, so we're going to take off Chinese pangolin and put on great flamingo. Either sex is fine. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. 35 for a girl with not horrific stats. I'll take that. Okay. Now, a boy. Uh, let's, let's exclusively look at males for a minute. There we go. Oh, here we go. I'll take all of these. I'll take all of them from Frontier Zoo, I guess. Yeah, thank you. Come on. Come on. There we go. Um, I'll take you as well. Because you, you don't need that many of them. You need like 10, I think, for them to be happy. Um, so we'll, we'll try and get close to that 10. But then after that, pretty much you can only go, wow, so there's loads of guys on there. And all the, there's only six girls on there. And those six girls are at least a thousand. Right, so I'll tell you what, if we get some females... In fact, that one I've just bought, <laughs> can we just put you straight back on? Trade center. I, I'm, I'm tempted to just earn, like, if they're all going for a thousand, let's put one on for, like, two, 315. All right? Let's just, let's just, oh, there's a girl for, for money luck. Anyway, I'll take that one. There you go. That's how you play their game, innit? It'd be nice if you see all your ones available here as well, but maybe not. 
So animal storage. So now we've got it's a bit of a sausage fest. We've got four guys to a girl, um, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be, they're gonna make interesting DVDs. But uh, yeah, I think that's probably what we'll get started on with a, a, a habitat here for uh, for flamingos. So I'm gonna do this quite similar, to be honest, to the one I did in um, earlier on. Uh, that was just a separate habitat one, but I definitely think it worked quite well. It looked pretty good. So we want some low. Low water here, um, because they can swim, so we aren't going to be able to do water as um, as a stopping point. Uh, Tom Feige is about to mature. Nice. Well, when he does, we'll have to ship him out, or maybe keep him. I don't know. We'll see. But he definitely can't hang around because they don't like hanging around with uh, with others. So we'll keep that for some water there. Let's see if we can put some nice low level water. No, it's not deep enough. Okay, let's go for a little deeper then. I flattened the foundation. There we go. Let's see if uh, see if that's enough. Hopefully it will be. Calm water. There we go. That's what you want. You want shallows. Not necessarily being able to swim these uh, flamingos. It's more about them being able to have a little wallow in the shadows where they would normally get themselves some. Uh, uh, some krill and stuff. I think in here, though, we have to have a separate pool for them. Uh, we're going to keep toilets there. <laughs> That's a little bit weird, but we'll keep toilets there, and we'll build a we'll build a fence around here. So uh, barriers, uh, wood logs. Yeah. Okay. So to start off with, we'll put logs in here. I would probably like to replace them. We're actually doing pretty well for money. So do you know what? Yeah. Let's let's not put wooden logs at the front here. Let, we'll do it custom. And instead, we'll just build a null barrier here at the front. So we'll build something custom that's going to keep these uh, nice little flamingos tucked away. Um, oops. There we go. So I'll keep them in there. Tom, the aardvark has matured. I'm going to pause the game for a second because, yeah, they're going to fight. There we go. Fighting overcrowded. They're not fighting yet. The game is more just sort of telling me it's about to happen, you know. Um, okay, so at this point, we'll bring in some wood. Along here, and come down here to the sides of the toilet, <laughs> uh, and then they'll carry on the null barrier. Um, there we go. Let's just move that because that's going to irritate me a little that we're off there. So let's just pull it in like that. Not that it really matters at all, but there we go. So you come in now, and there's going to be flamingos here. That, uh, that look lovely. So barriers, let's pop a wooden barrier gate there. Can we take the, uh, ooh, if we jiggle the toilets around a little bit there, we might be able to have a staff path coming down the back of this. That would that would make a good amount of sense. Now what's wrong with you all along there? That should all be fine, but all right, whatever. Um, okay, yeah, so you at the moment, I don't think you're part of a building. There we go. So if we just bring you down to there, what terrain modification? We've got a, we've got some weird goosey. Goosey things here with paths. I'm worried that we're gonna do we're gonna have it again here. Can we put path on you? Terrain modification failed. What terrain modification? I can only assume that it's because it's near the barrier. Oh, we have got tunneling turned on to be fair. Right, that was a problem. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, okay, and now that's, yeah, that's a little goosey. That's fair enough. Okay, as well. Okay, so. Uh, let's take you back to there. There we go. And then we should hopefully be able to do, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's, this, this is doable. I know it is. Uh, water volume. Okay, well, in that case, then, we should be able to take the water out for a minute. And put it back later. If it's only the water that's causing the problem there, we should be able to do something like this. There we go. Okay, we can work with that. And then staff can get down there. It's not in the way or anything like that. All right, so uh, water, put the water back in. Actually, let's put rough water look better there. It's quite a decent expanse of water. No, I think calm water is probably the better option. All right, so next thing's next. Let's actually get some animals in it then because they're going to be able to tell us what they want. Let's just have a quick check. What have we got? We, we still need girlies. Uh, yeah, I'll take you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. 
five. God, people are selling them, man. So it, I think we sold that one, did we? 315, there you go. So that's what you're going to do. Undercut the market. People are putting them on for a thousand each. It's ridiculous. 300 is actually quite a bargain, if you ask me. Um, okay, so animal trading. Uh, let's just have one more check. Oh, all right. So, Gabrielle, what are we doing with you, Gabrielle? Why are you sat there? Okay, now somebody said there might be a way to do this here. Is it? Trade sense, can we do it by location? No, it's only the ones that are on the way out. Okay, that's fine. So we are going to have to sit and add all these in, one by one. I think that was the <laughs> that was the one we were actually doing already. Okay, we're going to throw these in, and we're going to get them happy with their habitat. So uh, the weather's miserable, I'm afraid. So that time lapse wasn't too difficult to see. Um, but we have our first one in now. People are flooding to see the single flamingo. So let's get all the uh, sort of facility stuff set up then uh, off the back of the single flamingo. I forgot that we have to quarantine them. So all the rest are in quarantine. Um, okay, so one, two, then one around this corner, I suppose, three. Uh, a few spots where we're going to have to do a little bit of work, but I did want to kind of try and do the foliage on camera. Just waiting for the uh, for the weather to get a little nicer. There we go. Oh, no, no, it's, no, it's raining again. That's, yeah, definitely in Britain. Uh, this one, definitely in Britain. Somebody asked why it was called Canuck Chase Zoo. Um, somebody suggested it on the stream, actually. Canuck Chase is where I'm from. I grew up in Hensford, uh, Staffordshire, and uh, lived right on the edge of Canuck Chase. This is sort of out of my back garden. You could see it. It's kind of Fantastic. Uh, right, so animal... No, zoo animals. I think we can... We can do something about this now, right? So quarantine... Yeah, here we go. So quarantine, 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 quarantine. Move all to here. There we go. That's much more useful. Thank you to whoever it was who uh, told me about that screen in the game. That's a very useful one. This poor single flamingo, I'm afraid, is going to have to have relatively low welfare. What's your welfare actually like? 53. I mean, this will come up as more flamingos turn up, right? Yeah, that went up to 54, look. Okay. The main thing I'm trying to do is get it so the weather isn't horrific. Yeah, there we go. That's much much, much better. Because now we can come in and do some um, terrain stuff. So we need hard shelter. We'll do that later. Uh, plants then, they've very little coverage, but we, we've got quite a big choice of stuff we can use here. So Let's select all these options and, and really figure it out. So, aquatic, tropical, temperate, and grassland. Um, aquatic, tropical, temperate, grassland. Asia, Europe, Africa. Asia, Europe, Africa. Look at all this we can choose from. Fantastic. So, I'm hoping we've got those awesome lily pads. Uh, where would they be? This really beautiful, like, water lilies. I'm sure they would be in this group. Also, I thought, maybe not. Oh, yeah, here they are. Common water lily. Oh, these look amazing. And I'm hoping they don't take up too much of coverage as well. So let's pop them actually on the water. And let's see. 1%. Now, I can probably deal with 1% for a few of these because I really do think they look great. 
three percent of our of our water is already used up with water lilies. But do you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I'm going for it. We want some reeds over here. This is going to push that number way up, isn't it? Yeah. Oof. Okay. But we've got to have reeds on the water's edge. It just looks so much more full and natural when you've got some lovely reeds on the water's edge here. Oh man, we're going to hit the foliage cap so quick on this. To the point where we might, to be honest with you, have to go over the foliage cap a little. Because we've got absolutely nothing in the back yet, to be honest. Although that does look nice. That's kind of all we need there, really. I did consider waterfall off here, but right next to the toilets, that seems a bit weird. In fact, the toilets are a little squashed there. We might move them, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, this is going to be a hard shelter here. So really, I just want a few... That's going to be too much, isn't it? Oh, no, okay, so we can get in one of those. What else can we do tree-wise that's, uh, that's interesting and fun? These bits, I mean, that's surely going to be too much. I think something a bit more tropical is the way to go, despite us being in a relatively temperate biome. These these kind of things, they, they grow, right? Hmm, they just don't really match anything else, do they? Oh, really struggling. Oh, uh, that's quite nice. Just an ash. Um, what else have we got? Elm. A smaller elm. Hemlock and birch. That thing's crazy big. Oh, it's a real tough one, this. It's a real tough nut. Mm. I think, out of all of those, the elm was least offensive. But then what we could we can save on the foliage and just put that here, right? That's that's kind of the thing, isn't it? You know? And then as far as the eye line is can still still concerned, you're still getting them. So I think we'd be better off filling this in with some more rocks and, and uh lower line things. So let's go back to nature for a moment. Get rid of all of these. Tropical, oops. Temperate rocks, and we'll build up some rocks here. Because the other thing is, at the moment, we've got very little uh, fun stuff for them. In fact, I don't think we've got any fun stuff for them, because I can't imagine any of the stuff we've already researched is going to be suitable for flamingos, to be honest. doesn't It doesn't seem like it would be, does it? Okay, let's do some edging rocks into the water there. Breaking that up that shoreline, I think, really helps. As best as you can. Nice area there for them to come and hang out in the water. Okay, and then hard shelter-wise, let's have a quick look then at throwing up a construction uh, unit. We did get some more stuff researched, so I think we've got some sandstone wall. Sounds good. And I would like to make it so that this becomes null barrier. Uh, so let's do something like that. We'll start it a little bit lower down. Okay, so pillar. Now I don't think I don't think there's a sandstone pillar in the game, apart from these big fatty ones that look a bit sandstoney. So we'll go for something like this instead. And again, this is all the kind of stuff you're going to have seen me do before. I very much have a uh, have a modus operandi when it comes to this kind of thing. Because, uh, well, it just means you can throw up something pretty swift and be kind of happy with how it looks. And yeah, there's always a possibility of us coming back in here later on with something a little bit more custom. But uh, but for now, I think we're probably doing okay as is. So we'll drag that in. And basically we're going to build one block of this, uh, whatever we call this. And then, and then we'll copy it around. And you know me, I'm kind of obsessed with these poles. Both that one and the square one, I love them both. Okay, I'd say that's pretty good. And we can copy that around. 
that's a little off, but that's okay. We can totally sort that out afterwards. It doesn't need to be too big, does it? I think we'll probably go... We'll go something like that. So first of all, then let's put these down on the end there. Yep. And then I think there was a problem with those ones there as well. So first of all, let's go back to barrier a second here and edit. So all of that's going to stay wood. So basically all of that now can become null. Yeah, and that shouldn't cause a problem once we've built up the building here a little bit more. Yeah, okay, that should be fine. So into here, let's just neaten up. These a little. Oops. Go there. And here, we need to do something similar. So take those in. Take that in and take that in. So here then, just looking at it, we've done these posts uh, a little bit inwards, which is fine, but I think it needs to probably swap here so that the outside looks better than the inside, if that makes sense. So we'll bring this in to do that. There you go. Excuse me, I've got a really itchy finger of all things. It's going to scratch that little finger. There we go. Um, yeah, okay. So. Right, all of, uh, all of these rods here are going to have to come up for the roof. So we're going to start here, I think. Let's see how tall they are. They can, they can probably go a little bit lower than that, actually. But we'll take it in this way. For what will become a roof structure. Roofs. Uh, pitch roofs, there we go. So what have we got now? We've got this asphalt, copper, I was hoping slate, metal clad isn't probably too bad, painted clay probably isn't too, slate, no, here's the one we want. This is your go-to, basic, run-of-the-mill, cheapy roof that kind of looks okay. And we're going to give them plenty of space here because they're in Britain, it's cold, it's miserable. They're not going to be fans of the place, are they? They're, they're Flamingos, for Pete's sake. Alright, so I put them in there, and for some reason that doesn't line up, but then mine's there. Uh, there. With some height in it. There we go. And over here. And then what we'll probably do is just take that out rather than having. All that, all that as wall. We'll leave that bit open just, just to give it a bit of a change in, in looks. That can come up to there. And actually, just you need to come across, don't you? There we go. And that looks like a simple lean to shelter. Let's just check they can not get out of there anywhere. It'll reevaluate. Okay, they're happy. Good stuff. So bedding, I mean, I, I, I guess they need some bedding. I don't think I've ever, they don't sit down though, do they? No, they're one of those animals where half of them sort of falls asleep at a time. So yeah, now I don't think we've got anything available for them unless anything, unless there's a bit of crossover. Um, maybe the sprinkler. Oh, okay, so yeah, there's a couple of things actually. That's good. So, I have one of these scent markers. We'll put that down here. I don't really know what they do. I mean, I understand what a scent marker is, but I don't know what they look like. Uh, as in, I've not seen an animal use them. Christ, I'm getting my words right. Uh, and we'll put a sprinkler down for them here because they seem to enjoy that. Um, there's plenty of water in the place, obviously, but I always think it's worth having a separate purely drinking water availability as well and then finally a food bowl large um, let's put the food bowl here let's put a couple down 
Eventually, we'll hopefully get one of those foraging pools. They're awesome. They really enjoy those. I think otherwise, they're probably a bit happier now. Let's have a look. Their welfare is still pretty low. Enrichment's gone up a little. There we go. So habitat-wise, what aren't you happy about? Cleanliness, hopefully that'll get sorted. Social, obviously, is a little low. Uh, and last meal quality, obviously, is going to be a little low as well. So hopefully when a few more come in, um, we, need, we need some food enrichment for them. So uh, let's go to our vet research. We should have some done. Nice. Pangolins. Loads of pangolin research. Wow, you've been busy. Let's put you now onto flamingos. Um, so, talking of pangolins, let's see if we can increase their um, their food enrichment a little. Species. Chinese pangolin. What did we get? What did we get? Food enrichment. Is that what it was? Let's have a look. Food enrichment and also toys as well. So, slow feeder. That's a bit of fun, in, fun food enrichment. Go there. Um, and they still need a bit of a toy. I'm sure there's a small ball in there. Yes, there is. There it is. Um, sprinkler. Boom. 98% happiness now on the Chinese pangolins. That's good. All right. Um, that slow feeder may work for aardvarks as well. How's your enrichment? I know your enrichment's pretty good. And I'm pretty sure warthogs is now. You've got all sorts of good stuff. Yeah. And bears, how are we doing? Second baby bear yet? Yeah. I don't think they're going to have another one while the little one's still growing. But you can't be far off leveling up. Let's have a look. Stud book, six years, I guess. You become an adult. Never mind. Uh, but, you know, flamingos are done. Looking pretty happy with themselves. Let's see. Like I say, you're getting the actual number up, I think. is it, but Look at this one go. They're quite cute, aren't they, flamingos? And they're just, and they're very, very much first animal in the zoo kind of, kind of job. Um, okay, next episode, then we may not do an animal. Next episode, we may well start boxing out some food stores and stuff here. I know that's definitely something we need to work on next. Um, looking at uh, their thoughts and stuff. Nice weather for ducks. It was, wasn't it? It was horrific. Here we go. Look, food and drink. He's starting to get a low on a few of them. So I think uh, some food court and maybe a bit of a bit of sort of landscaping in between these paths and stuff here uh, is what we'll do next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Till next time, be good.